If you have spent any time in the environmental space, you may have heard a term called sacrifice zone. And you may be asking yourself, what does that mean? Well, let me learn you. You ever wonder why the poorest in our society keep getting wrecked by things like extreme heat, storm zones, or polluted areas? A sacrifice zone is an area that the ones in charge, hint, rich people, have designated an area that can sacrifice human health in the name of profit. So what two factors lead rich people to create sacrifice zones? Racism and poverty. Super cool. The rich, in their quest for profits, have deemed poor people, mostly of color, as groups that can be sacrificed. There is a lot of research to show that polluting plants are almost always built near marginalized communities of color. Industries responsible for 75% of air pollution hurt communities of color more, and this statistic doesn't change across rural and urban areas or across income levels, which means in the United States, BIPOC citizens breathe in significantly more more pollution than white people. I can give you a great example of a sacrifice zone, Cancer Alley. Cancer Alley is an 85 mile stretch on the Mississippi River that got its name from the abnormally high concentration of chemical and fossil fuel plants that vomit dangerous pollution. The plants are often built near poor and black towns that don't have the political power to block them. Sacrifice zones lead to a much broader conversation of how systematic racism and injustice are weaved into the fabric of this nation. Kyunga Yamata Taylor says black people are poor, more likely to be underemployed, condemned to substandard housing, and given inferior health care because of their race. Undeniable.